Thank you, Brandon. Number 1A, the, a GED class has 20 students and 12 of the students are women. So, so 1A says, what is the ratio of the number of women to the total number of students? So that's going to be 12 to 20. Then you reduce that, take out uh, 4, and you get 3 fifths. Good job. B, what is the ratio of the number of men to the total number of students? So they don't tell us how many men there are, but we can find that out by subtracting the number of women, 12, from the total number of students, 20, given 8 men, okay? 8 to 20, okay? So now, so now we're gonna, now we're gonna reduce, <coughs> and then we're gonna get 4 or 5, 4 to 5, okay? Because now we're looking at multi-step, so you're going to have to figure out the numbers, then set up the equation. C, what is the ratio of the number of men to the number of women? Well, that's 8 to 12, right? But we've got to reduce that by 4, greatest common factor, whoops, 4 to 3, men to women. Or, uh, that two to three. Men to women. D. What is the ratio of the number of women, 12, to the number of men, A? That's just going to be the opposite. Still got to reduce it, three to two. Men to women, women to men. <coughs> 